Welcome. How you doing, man? Welcome to the Blue October bus. Come on in. This is the Blue October bus on the Sway Tour. I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour on how we do stuff here. Passenger seat here. So if anybody wants to come upstairs and up here and smoke a cigarette, they can. This is the only place they can smoke a cigarette because the window comes down right there. We don't allow smoke past here of any kind, if you get what I'm saying. So this is where the driver sits. He's got his mad speakers behind him and all that shit. This is our living room. This is, uh, you know, where we chill. TV right here. Right now I'm watching a Nas biography on the rapper Nas. We like to keep it musical, whatever. We also watch things like a murder mystery kind of thing where it's like, who killed him? You know, that kind of thing. So we all just kind of turn it on and we all try to figure out who, who got killed. DVD player, direct TV. Um, usually there's like a gaming system in here, but none of us really game except for our road manager. He's like one of the best gamers in the world, Gowalski. Speakers. We turn up shit as loud as we want. The cool thing about this bus is the best thing right here. Usually buses come out to about right here on the other side, right? So this is called a slide out bus. You won't even imagine how good an extra two feet does for a band of 12 people in a bus. Usually you're sitting like about right here. So your knees are like right there and you have to, you know, what's up man, let me get through, let me get through. This has a feature where you push the button and it goes and gives us an extra two feet so you can sit back and chill you know it's great especially when you got 12 dudes up here you know you can fit everybody in here nice and comfortably you have your windows shaded so nobody can see you changing nobody can see your junk when you're all naked from outside because you have fans out there that like to take pictures and stuff like that creepy and when you're going you can't roll down the road like this because then this shit will fall out so it's got to come back in and then we get going now for the best part of the whole thing i'm a coffee freak okay so we have two things here. This is regular coffee. This is Keurig. I'm a Keurig man. This is the best part. I don't go anywhere without my gingerbread, Starbucks, syrup. You know, I'm a huge Starbucks man. All types of stuff. Starbucks, coffee, 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 sugar, coffee. We like to keep it healthy on this bus because at age 38, you don't get any skinnier. Coffee, coffee, emergencies. Is the best shit in the world. If you start to feel sick, you just drink one of these. One time I drank four of them, not a good choice. I was on stage and I actually shit my pants. Not a good thing. Be careful on that. This is usually where we sit, you know, do all our business. We have all our electrical inputs, internet, uh, microwave, TV over here, so you pop that on when you're sitting over there so the people there can see the TV. More healthy stuff. Uh, we get so much chips and bananas and apples that this thing just gets stocked. Our guitarist is a, works out like crazy, so I don't know what this stuff is, but he's cut and I wouldn't mess with him. You know, same old stuff down here. Same old, we have so many, do you want some chips? You wanna take some chips? Cause daddy's not allowed to have chips on this diet. So when this thing slides in, then we roll. This, this is cool because we have this big ass refrigerator right here. And usually you just have small refrigerators, but this one, I mean, I mean, look at this. It's like you're at home. It's like, you know, but as you notice, there's no like beer and liquor in here. The beer's all up there, but we try to stay as healthy as we possibly can on the road. This is vegetables. We get so many vegetables on the road, we just pack them up and pack them up. Cranberry juice. My favorite thing to drink now is Pellegrino or Perrier with cranberry juice and apple juice mixed. I don't drink alcohol anymore, so just this this and this together after a show over some ice and maybe squirt a lemon in it God, just takes your breath away or it does mine um let's see what else we got in here we have people's leftover foods jimmy john's pickle god gotta love these things um half and half let's see what's up top oh yeah my brother went decided and i'm not allowed to have these man this is like crack rock so i gotta put this back pretend like i never opened it there you go and so now Another cabinet right here, you know. This is what I eat in the morning. Darn it. More chips. This is the fabulous bathroom. Come on. This is where we roll. Okay, so usually some buses have showers, but that's only when I bring my family out. I have a separate bus with my family and my daughter that come out sometimes. And my 19-month-old little girl, she has to take a shower. So usually a shower is right over there. So I'll give her a shower and stuff. But this one just has a pisser. You piss, push the button. Boom. Number one rule in a bus is though, no pooping. If you poop, you get kicked off the bus because it'll just sit in there and it'll smell like somebody's ass. Bus water, you never want to drink it. So when you brush your teeth, this is my toothbrush actually. 
Uh, when you brush your teeth, you get a bottle of water. Do it that way because you never know what's been in the tank. But it's cool. You know, you got whatever you need in here. Just don't poop. You poop, you get kicked out. Now this is where Alan, our road manager, puts our day sheet. So today we're in Libertyville. <laughs> See, I wouldn't know. Has get in, noon, lunch, uh, load in, sound check with party. Today I went to uh, a radio show uh, about 40 miles away. That wasn't on there because it was a last minute thing. Sound check, sound check party, dinner from the menu, doors open, Architects, which is an amazing band, on the road with us. Then we change over, Blue October show, end of call, end of show, curfew. Does not mean our curfew, it means curfew for the club. It means we've got to be out of the bar curfew. 2 a.m. is bus call. That means everybody has to be on here at bus call. Capacity of room is 850 people. I think we've sold like 600 tickets, so we'll probably sell it out tonight. Dressing room? No. Bathroom? No. Shower? No. So we're basically all going pretty nasty today. Side of building, shower, power, no. That's We get one of these every day. Um, but check this out. It says 2 a.m. bus call. Oh, I better be careful because it's 1 a.m. bus call. I get confused. I just come right in. I don't party no more, so I just come right in here and read a book or something and then chill and call my wife. Now here is Endless Supply. Now can you say we're any healthier than you could possibly be? In the past this would have been Jack Daniels liquor, but we don't do that no more, you know. Or at least I don't. But we never run out of water. I like to have a, a Red Bull before I go on stage. Lots of electrical in, out, out, look, outputs just so everybody can have their internet and get home talking to their kids and stuff. Check this out. This is cool. It's sometimes pretty fucked up because these things get stalled. Okay, ooh, it's so neat, right? No, it's not, because you could easily just open it like a normal person. Sometimes these get stuck, you know, and then that genius idea of looking like you're all in Star Trek just fails you. You know, I guess bus people don't realize that, you know, some of the coolest things is just being able to open the door, not to look cool. This is where we sleep. Sorry, there's hardly any light in here. Our lights went out on the bus. This is my road manager's bunk. He's probably the neatest. This is my bunk. Oh, well, you can see. Yeah. Good look, look at that. Yeah. All right. It's good stuff. Uh, I've got my beard oil. Yeah, I've got to keep my beard. Smell that. It smells really good. Oh, yeah. It smells like patchouli and the cedar tree. Good folks up here, 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 here. This is the junk bunk. This is where everybody can store their crap. You know, my record player is somewhere in there. I'm buying, like I got one of these record players, so whenever I'm in a town, I like to buy a new record. It's not looking too hot. Coming back here, so we have, that's full, that's full, that's full, that's full, that's full. That's our junk bunk. Boom, 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 boom. That's where we live, that's my brother's bunk. Then you have this door. Let's see if this one works. It works today. See, when you got kids on a bus though, I don't really want that, because it could be like, Daddy, Daddy, hey, what are you, ah, oh, my fucking hand! Not smart. Then you come back here, you have your lounge, you can chill, or laptop, stuff, energy, whatever you need for to write home. You have your TV, stereo, windows, all that stuff, and then you have more shelf, I mean, more, more stuff to store shit. And then back here is where we hang up our stuff, that we want to keep straight. I don't think I've ever hung anything up in my personal life, but the rest of them have. That's how that goes. And the cool thing about this is, whatever somebody's watching back here, you have two stations in your bunks. There's little TVs in the bunk, which I'll show you. But you can either watch what they're watching back here, or watch what they're watching back there, put a DVD in and watch it. So you have three choices in your bunk. Let me show you the TV. Oh, here's the ice chest back here too. Sorry, if I can open it. I don't know how they, there we go. You always have something on, on ice, and if you look in here, here is TVs. You just turn it on and watch TV in your bunk. You know, sometimes it gets frustrating because those things can easily break. And we do with what we can. We're very grateful, very blessed to be able to tour on a bus. You know, we used to tour in a van for like 12 years. That was cool. I think we put our first van, we put 250,000 miles on it in a year. Second van, we put like 300,000 miles on it, and then we're still holding on to that van at home. But now we make enough dough that we can all live in a bus together. And then when, when I'm at home and I want to do some extra acoustic shows or something to raise money, 
to bring my family out. Usually my wife and my daughters come out with me. This is the Blue October bus, and I hope it's been fun for you, and much love.